Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style and I'm here with a thrift haul. I have not made a thrift haul uh, where I'm actually in the, in the video. In fact, I've made a couple of thrift hauls where I was just showing the stuff on my rack and when I uploaded them to, to YouTube, they just weren't playing correctly. So I have not made those um, where you can see them. <laughs> so anyway, I went on a short vacation last week. My sister and I met in Scottsdale, Arizona, and on the day that we left, her flight left really early, and mine didn't leave until the evening. So I spent the day thrifting um, in the area of Phoenix that's near um, the airport. So there's, I figured I would find more of the like charity thrift stores in that area. So um, I found a lot of great stuff, and I actually ended up finding a duffel bag, and I checked, I checked all my stuff. So I was hoping to just find enough to completely pack into my suitcase, but I ended up finding way more than that. So it was totally worth paying the $25 to check my bag. In fact, this is the bag that I found that I ended up checking. I've never heard of this brand. Uh, what is it? Buffalo Jackson Trading Company. But it's this really nice duffel bag. It's missing the crossbody strap, but um, I've noticed on eBay you can buy crossbody straps that are out of, actually out of buffalo leather. So maybe someone could find this color to match it, but it's just a nice duffel bag. It's that waxed canvas and it has two pockets on the outside. It's got pockets on the inside. It's pretty clean and it was just a nice bag. So this was $5.99. In fact, a guy stopped, it was in my cart, and a guy stopped and he's like, can I look at that bag? And he just kept going on and on about it. And I was just, okay, I'm buying, I'm buying this bag. So <laughs> don't be thinking that I'm gonna give it to you. So anyway, this was uh, probably one of my best purchases. These, the similar bags like this have been selling on eBay around $150, so for $5.99, that was pretty good. And so also with that Goodwill, um, it was kind of odd because that Goodwill, they put all the tags, their tags on top of the tags. So you have to really, you have to pick up every tag to see what the brand is. But this was half off, so it was $5. It's a Trina Turk dress. Um, to call this like a chemise or a sheath dress maybe uh, but it's just really cute in a zebra print I'm sure it won't sell for a whole lot but it's cute and it's in good condition good fabric on it this I'm not positive if this is a skirt or a strapless short dress so when I list it all I'll have to try and find one online and see. I think it is a dress just because the way there's like four buttons here and you wouldn't really see that on a skirt. And then it's got this tie here. But it's a James, James purse, um, size two. So I think it, and it's just super soft, um, James purse. This I found in another little store that supported hospice. And it's a St. John, it's a little bit older St. John tag, but it was 75% off of $35. So, <laughs> what's that? Like $8? Eight something is what I paid for this skirt. It's just a navy blue Santana knit. But it, I did realize, though, I think it has been um, altered because it seems smaller than whatever. I think it's supposed to be a size 8. So we'll see. I'll measure. Do a bunch of measurements. This I found at that same Goodwill. This is a CP Shades dress. You kind of see the tag. And it's just... The inside tags have been cut out, so there's no size. It's just, there's, it doesn't say linen, but I'm positive this is linen. It needs to be um, 
steamed, um, but it's just really cute. It has a drawstring here, kind of like a dropped waist. So um, I thought that was cute. It was $9.99, so hopefully I can, I did pay that for it. Uh, this dress was $6.99, and I bought this before I left. Um, at the at a Goodwill out near the Eugene or Airport. It has the tab sleeves on it. It's Daniel Rain. So it won't sell for a whole lot. I just thought it was really pretty. I love this print and so I think this will sell, you know, for fall. Daniel Rain stuff seems to sell pretty fast, just not for a whole lot. But it does have it has a zip, side zip and then it also has a tie, like a tie belt. So cute dress there and then this one is a Rachel Zoe dress it's a medium it's just a long maxi dress just black with a drawstring waist kind of a tie um, braided rope thing <laughs> for the waist tie waist it's just super Plain, but it's very very soft and really long uh, this dress I bought uh, at that little hospice thrift store it's uh, it's Vince they actually had a bunch of Vince stuff at that store but they were like there was a puffy vest just things that I thought were too bulky because I was trying not to buy a lot of a lot of stuff and this bag that I bought was already full of all the stuff that I had bought at that Goodwill so everything else that I bought had to fit into my bag and I had left room in my bags um, for some for some clothes to bring home but anyway it's just a just a cotton dress there's nothing special about this but it's Vince the dresses seem to sell um, for better money than like the blazers had several blazers and a puffy vest and they you know the comps weren't very high because it's summer but I just I left those behind because they were too bulky this is a Bailey 44 dress and I just thought it was really cute with the lace arms this is covered in lace I don't think it's showing up and then um, this is like a faux leather peplum and then a stretch, stretch knit there. So that was cute. And I'm actually gonna turn on the lights. I forgot to do that. Okay, so this is probably my most exciting find, one of them, <laughs> next to that bag. But this is this beautiful little um it's kind of, it's got like this ruched on section on the side and a high slit it's hard to show it but it's like a spaghetti strap with a cold shoulder detail and it's this Veronica Baird Veronica Baird it is what size oh it's a size 6 and it was $9.99 so when I was at that Goodwill in Phoenix they pulled out a cart, a bunch of carts while I was there. And this was on one of those carts of new stuff that had not been put out yet. And at this other little charity thrift store, I bought this gorgeous sweater dress. All of the clothes were 50% off at that store. Um, they, and they were the hospice one. And I think now I think it might be because it was National Thrift Shop Shopping Day, and I didn't even know that. It was totally out of the loop. But this is beautiful, this dress. It needs like an underdress. But here is the tag, the Missoni tag. It doesn't have a size, again. I mean, this, they said it was a size medium, but it has this tie in the back that's really long. So I'm not quite sure. I mean, you wouldn't wrap this around. And sure, this is the back of the dress. So it's just got this really long tie, I guess. So, but I thought the, the colors are really pretty in that. Perfect for fall. And then at the Goodwill where they brought out all, um, 
all new racks of stuff. I found this cute. It's kind of like a cropped top with mesh, mesh arms. This beautiful kind of tapestry um, cuffs and um, around the top. It's an Alice and Olivia and it was $5.99 and it's a size medium. So I thought that was really beautiful. And then I also found this little joie. It's a lace up, like a sleeveless tank. They had a bunch of joie pieces there, but I did find this particular one, you know, had um, sold for like $35 maybe, if I'm right. But it was $4.99, so I went ahead and got that. Oops. Then they had this little Parker tank for also $4.99. Cute little silk tank. It's just red on the back. And oh, at the one store where things were, some stuff was 75% off, I bought these, these pants. I think they're really cute. They're from Anthropology. They're Elevenses. Elevenses. Um, the size 10 on these. I thought they were cute. And at 75% off, these were $3. So, didn't pass it up. Um, at that same store, they had like a warehouse out in the back uh, that I went and looked through. So, the pants out in the warehouse, I think, were $4. Then everything was half off. <laughs> So I think these were two dollars. Uh, they're they are. Um, I always pick these up when I find them because they sell really well. They're soft surroundings, and they have an elastic waist. And these are a one X, and they're just a plain, you know, dark jean, kind of like a skinny, skinny leg jean. Then found another pair of jeans out there. These are theory black jeans. And they have a wide, wide leg at the bottom. And they're actually more of like a jean, a trouser jean. They don't have any pockets at all. Oh, but they do have this cool, um, this is like a velvety little stripe on the side. I didn't even notice that. So, you two plug in my battery. Okay, so as you can tell, I was very unprepared for this video. <laughs> um, the other two things I was really excited about on those new racks that they brought out, uh, this one jacket is kind of a Chanel-esque looking jacket, but it is a Rebecca Taylor jacket. And this right here is lambskin. And then this I think is a, is like a cotton and silk mix, but it's a beautiful uh, ivory blazer, blazer jacket. And it was $9.99 and it's a size six. Really pretty little chiffon. And then the the lambskin there. And then also for $9.99 was this Rebecca Taylor lambskin leather jacket. It's studded all over. I checked it over. All the studs are here. I was so excited to find this jacket. It's um Several have sold on eBay, like around between 150 and 185. So I will try and get this listed as quick as I can so it can sell for fall. So very excited about this jacket, super soft. It's a size medium, so that was good. Then one other ja Rebecca Taylor jacket with the what these. It was a moto jacket, like a pale gray knit jacket, but it was kind of pilled and it was a size two. So that one, I mean, these, this was bulky enough, so I passed on that gray one. Uh, this is another joie sweater. 
I really thought long and hard about this because it's kind of bulky, but with the fringe bottom, it's just a cool sweater. It has kind of like a cap sleeve, but you could wear a long sleeve shirt with this or just wear it, you know, beginning of fall. This will be a great sweater. So I need to get this photographed and listed, but I thought that was really cute. And at, I guess I found it a different shop. I can't remember which one. It's an extra small, We the Free, Free People. It's just, it's a thermal. Oh yeah, this was at, right next to Goodwill, was a shop <laughs> called Second Chances, I think. And on outside, they had a big sign that said all their clothes were $3. But I bought three pairs of, three clothing items and a pair of shoes, and she charged me nine, $9.50, so shoes were 50 cents, I don't get it, but I'll, those are, they're cute shoes, so <laughs> I'll show you those too, but it's just like a long tunic, you know, with, um, there's, the sleeves are not anything special, and this I found before I left at the Goodwill in Junction City, um, it's a Lululemon jacket. This also was on the rack that was waiting to be put out on the floor. So always, that's, I go to that rack first. Any thrift store I go to, I always look to see if there's racks that they haven't put out yet. And I always go to the go back rack because if you start searching the store, you know, like people find the best stuff, go try it on. And then if it doesn't fit them, they put it on the go back rack. So you, sometimes you can find great stuff there. So it's good to check it when you first get to the thrift store and then when you leave the thrift store because sometimes they'll take out the go back rack and then people will fill it up again. So um, anyway, it's a long jacket. I haven't, I haven't looked up the style name of any of the Lululemon stuff that I bought yet. Uh, this was a I thought this was cute, this little like a workout sweatshirt. It's a Soma, so it is super soft, super soft. Yeah, and I found this out in Junction City, it was $5.99. Unless it was half off, I don't remember what the half off color was. Um, so anyway, the, ja the Lululemon was $14.99. And then also at that same store, um, they had a Lululemon bra. This is like kind of a clearish, a sheer mesh in the back, just a crisscross kind of racer back bra. It doesn't have the padding. None of the bras I found had the padding in them. So I did see somebody, um, like I think on Instagram, they said that they went to a fabric store and just bought a bunch of the thin little you know the molded cup things that come in these and then when they sell they email the person or maybe they just put it in the listing that if it doesn't that if you want a set of the cups you need to or the pads you need to ask for it and you she'll include it because obviously people for the most part take them out <laughs> um oh yeah this i got out before i left it's a cabbie, just a workout top. It has like a, a bra in here, and then the rest is like a sheer mesh, and it has, kind of comes in at the bottom. So I thought that was cute, and it has a nice, like a very structured workout bra inside of it. Uh, this I got at the in Phoenix at that Goodwill. It's a racer back. Top. I had never heard of this brand, but I will watch for it. It is oh, A L A L A. So it has this little metal thing in the back. But this is a an expensive workout brand. Cute little tank. Then at that store, they had a whole bunch of A L O. A -L -O um, <laughs> bras. And I looked at the ALO bras and they, you know, they sell for like 
between 15 and 20 and they wanted five dollars a piece for them so I didn't buy hardly any of the ALO bras but they did have two pairs of leggings which the leggings seem to do really well these are cool they look they almost look you know like they have leather here it's just a like stretchy microfiber and then on the sides here it has this kind of cut out um, insets for these leggings but and the, the leggings are a size small and then they also had a bra with the same cutouts and then another pair of leggings that have that cutout detail but they're different style so I went ahead and bought the two leggings which I wouldn't have bought anyway but I bought the the matching bra that goes with them the bra is a size medium but I should definitely be able to sell sell it as a set I'll probably sell this as a set and then just mention that there's another I have another pair of leggings that would go with this bra too or sell it as all three together I don't know but yeah so that was a great so this was $4.99 the leggings how much should they have on the leggings oh the leggings were $4.99 so were the bras so I'm into this little three-piece set for $15 then they also had it must have been like one person gave up their whole workout wardrobe or something these are all pretty much the same size. This is a Lululemon bra. It's the tag back there. Kind of a sheer little inset with the racer back. And then this looks to be the exact same bra, but just a different print. And I believe they're a size six. Most of these items were a six. Uh, this tank is another brand I had never heard of. Al Albion? I don't know how to say that brand, but I will continue to look for this brand in workout wear. Oh, it's so cute in the back. It has these little. So maybe this is a cycling shirt. I never know. Like when there's pockets on the back, if that means that it's a cycling top or not. But I just thought it was really cute says Goldilocks just right <laughs> right there so pretty nice and bright and then another brand is this Yoga Bella and I don't know if these are swim trunks it does say inner wear so I don't know if it's meant to be worn under workout stuff or you know, these sides could be let out, so they're more like a little boy short. So I'm not sure what these, I haven't looked them, I haven't really looked them up. I just looked up the brand and saw that um, a lot of their pieces sell pretty well. And on that same rack were these four pairs of Lululemon shorts. And they seem to be pretty much the same style. Um, just cute shorts they have like the I guess circulation vents there so gray with orange this light gray and white that same venting in the back uh, this pair pink pink and orange and black little Lululemon shorts and then this hot pink pair super cute those there they also have this Eberge I think it's from they sell it at Nordstrom I'm not sure Eberge pajamas um, they're really soft but little button up top and then the sh it has just little short pajama shorts really cute so they seem the brand sells well and then at the first Goodwill I went to they had these Josie Natari um, pajamas 
brand new with tags. So there's pajama pants underneath there. And they're a size medium. But they're really cute for winter. And the last two things um, are men's. I've never heard of this brand. <laughs> uh, it's called Nasty Pig. So uh, men's, je men's jeans. I have this stripe down them. Oh, these were at that store where all the clothes were um, $3. So they're in really good condition. So I guess I looked it up. I mean, the brand sells well, so I will try to sell them. And I also found this Lacoste men's just a half zip sweatshirt in black. And then I did find a few pairs of shoes. So they're down here. Oh, another thing I found, but I don't know, it might not be in good enough shape to even mess with, but it's a to me, um, a messenger bag that has some pilling on the back. So I need to try to clean that off and see if it comes out nice enough to, to sell. I found this. I'm not sure if it's if it's authentic, so I need to look into it more. This MCM little crossbody bag, like a wallet on a string, but I don't know if it's authentic. And then this, I thought this bag was really pretty. This reminds me of like a Rebecca Minkoff bag, but it is actually Latico. I've seen Latico at TJ Maxx. I don't know where else they sell it, but it does not have its crossbody. Oh, it has its crossbody strap inside here, and some pen marks inside. But it was six ninety nine, and um, I, I, it needs definitely needs conditioning. You can tell on the back it's really dry, and this is that really soft kind of. Um, buttery leather like a Balenciaga bag but yeah so but it has the flaps on it I thought it was Rebecca Minkoff when I first saw it got way too excited but found that and then who's this I forget oh this is a Monsac wallet kind of in like a faux lizard embossed print I will include on here are these purple um, Marc Jacobs flats. They were $5.99. Velvety, purple velvet. So I thought, you know, for fall, somebody's going to want these. Someone who loves purple and lime green together. And then at that little store that I paid 50 cents for these shoes, they are Ferragamos. And they're that, you know, they have the elastic around the top edge. So maybe, I'm thinking they thought that there was something wrong with them and they'd gotten hot and like scrunched up, but this is how they're supposed to be. I forget what this is called when they have the elastic edge on the top, but they're actually in really good condition. There's like no wear on the bottom. And it, I can't quite tell what the size is. I think they're a six. So I'll have to measure. The insole, but they say Ferragamo right there. And um, yeah, so that is what I bought in Phoenix or when I was on my way to Phoenix. But my other sister, one of my other sisters is moving to Phoenix. So I will be visiting her and taking an extra bag <laughs> and thrifting, making it, you know, a thrifting visit and get to see her and um, her little boo-boo. So uh, that's it for now, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.